Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Ucanic scanner to do a health check on the vehicle. So basically, what the Ucanic scanner does is connects to every single control unit that's on the car. And I'll read the codes from it. You can clear them, but uh, clearing only works if you fix the issue. And uh, you can actually look at sensor data and activate sensors and things like that if you want to do more troubleshooting. But here, we're going to do a fuel system check. So let's go take a look at our scanner. So we wanna select diagnostics. And then here we have all makes and models. All right, so the scanner has the software and the capability to work all those different makes and models. But here we're working on those variants, so let's select that. Here you need to also enter the year and the model, the trim all that but you can do that manually or select smart VIN. But what smart VIN will do is you're going to pull the VIN number of the car and that's going to determine what year what model what engine and some more data so you don't have to worry about you know entering the correct information then select diagnostics here we have a couple of auction options you can do control modules but as you can see the car has a lot of control modules um now this car does not have all of them so if you try to connect to a control module the car does not have, um, then you're going to get no communication with that uh, control module because it's not installed in the car. So what I mean by that, if the car does not have blind spot monitoring and you're trying to go to that control module and try to enter it, you're gonna say, it's going to say no communication uh, because that control module is not installed. But uh, I, I came back here and uh, we have the option of a quick scan. You can choose either one of them. For 2005, you can use scan, quick scan. It's a little bit faster, but here's the all the control modules. You do select all right down there and press okay. And what the car is doing right now, the car is going through all the different control modules and it's reading the codes from them. And right now, if you press on this little arrow, it actually shows you what the issues are with the engine control module and close that one and you can do it with any of them. If you click on the name right here, you are actually entering that control module and then you can read clear codes from it and you can dive deeper because then you can look at sensor data from that control module. You can sometimes activate things like you can activate ABS pump or you can activate relays, fuel pump and all that depending on the module. Uh, if you enter the door control module, for example, it controls your door, window, mirrors and stuff, then you can operate those from the scanner and that is a good uh, way of troubleshooting some of these problems. But as you can see here, um, instrument cluster has one code. I can see su uh, supply voltage is too low, so battery maybe was too weak. Passive means that it happened in the past um, and it's not a current issue, but the vehicle is monitoring that problem. Um, here, the uh, steering column, supply voltage and function, restriction due to voltage. Um, it's common a lot of times when you have a battery that dies on these uh, newer vehicles, then you end up with a lot of fault codes. I mean, once the report is done, you can go ahead and erase the codes. Um, not always recommended because sim sometimes you might clear some codes that could be very helpful for troubleshooting and you might have to drive the car for a while for those codes to come back. So um, use erase with caution there right, because it will clear all the codes from the car. As you can see here, the scan is done and it's showing all these different control modules and how many. Some of them don't have any codes at all, but some of them do. Uh, sometimes the codes are related to each other. So steering assist, for example, has um, four codes as ABS control module, has codes in the DTC memory. You know, in this case, we have a bad ABS wheel speed sensor and that's going to also trigger a code you can see here from left ABS wheel speed sensor. But this, that issue will also trigger a, another code in the traction control system as well. So one code might be reported in many different control modules. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, so it's, it's good to do this. You can save the report or you can or we can go ahead and erase it. Or if you want to, we can go dive into, select one of the control modules and dive into that and do some testing there, look at more. So as you can see here, 
you can read the codes from this i enter the engine control module we can clear the codes so these are all the codes in the engine control modules we saw there at a quick test list as well but clear them like data so here we're going to do custom list select all press ok now we're looking at all this data live if i start the engine engine rpm will change change um temperature sensor will start to change all these things are uh, streaming live master flow sensor this is good for troubleshooting so and then this scanner is able to do a, a bidirectional communication so if you go to active test depending on the control module you can turn things on and off so you can turn activate the fuel injector or turn it off or you can do different things here so all these things fuel pump electronics so you can actually press start and begin activation test you know and you can you can do things like um activate fuel pump and things of that nature so there's a list here of things that you can do but those activation tests only apply basically to con sensors motors whatever is controlled by the engine control module so if windows and doors we're not going to control them from the engine control um module we have to go to the door control module further down here door elect electronics and passenger control system so we can go there and we can control the doors the windows up and down and the mirrors folding mirrors you know if the car has them if not you're not going to be able to but uh, but this is good for troubleshooting